All right, this is going to be a quick video update on my Wifco 8955 auto detect converter. Um, we've been here a couple days without the converter on and no solar, so my battery has not been charged for about 44 hours. And the only thing that runs on the battery when the converter is off is the interior lights and the refrigerator. So that drains the battery fairly slow. So we're at 44 hours. You can see it's 7 a.m. We disconnected it at storage at noon. So we're at 33%. And it says 13.06 volts there. So we're going to turn the converter on. And I'm going to give you an update on how long it takes to charge this. And how it performs. And we're in lithium. I did the jumper in the last video. So... This should be still in lithium mode. This is the converter. You can hear it come on. You can see the blue light back there. And this fan is kind of loud. And then I'll give performance updates. See if we can see the amps. There we go. 53, 53.7 amps right now, and then I'll check the voltage. All right, I'm going to show the voltage here. It's kind of hard to do here with my one hand. Okay, so I just put them on the connectors there, and we're at 14.4, but I think that'll go up as the amps go down. So we're still around 53 amps right there. It did show 54 for a second. And like I said, it's roughly five after seven and we'll see how long this takes to charge up the battery. Again, with no solar. And I'm really interested to see at the end. Yeah, we're already climbing to 14.45 volts and it should top out at 14.6. So I'll give updates and as this progresses. All right, this is the two hour update here. And you can see it's a 904, we're at 67%. And I do have a 300 amp hour battery. And we're at 201 amp hours. And I was gonna show the voltage here. And we are at the 14.6 voltage. And that happened at about, once the amperage started coming down. Now it's making me a liar because I just did this and it showed it was at 14.6. So it was 14.6. It's kind of back and I don't think I'm getting a very good connection here with my... So we're close. Almost 14.6. So this is to simulate like boondocking my uh, generator and how long I need to run my generator as we started at 33% and we can see how long that takes to charge that up. And you can see I'm at uh, 48 amps right now and for quite a while, close to an hour, it was at the full 54 to 55 amps, which is great. And we'll continue to watch this. So we are getting the 14.6. We're at the two and a half hour mark. I'm going to show this. It's bouncing right at 14.6. And that's because the amps have come down a little bit. All right, we're still not done charging yet, but I wanted to show some, give some information here. This is my Power Watchdog surge protector. And the only thing on right now is the converter. And you can see it's drawing about 13 amps. Uh, there's a couple lights going, I guess. So I had the AC going because it's hot right here. We're at going to hit 100 today. So I was getting a jump on the air conditioning. And so only 1030 right now. So I had the air conditioner on high and turned on the hot water heater on electric and with the converter going I 
my search protector did its job and shut down and it gave me a warning and then I can reset it right there from the app so that's really handy I just wanted to share that information so you you can't run everything on these 30 amp RVs all at the same time and while we're here we'll go ahead and uh, we'll show the voltage of the converter right now and uh, yep we're at almost 14.6 and then we'll check the uh, app for the battery. So it's 1028, so almost three and a half hours. We're back to 89%. And we're at 267 amp hours available out of 300. And we're still putting out 45 and a half. So we'll update this maybe one more time before we uh, end the video. All right, we're gonna finish this here, and uh, you can see it's six after 11, so four hours, and we're almost fully charged. We're at 99%, 297 amp hours. We're still putting out 41 amps, and that'll taper off here in the last little bit, but I wanted to show the voltage one more time, and we're at 14.6, and that's uh, important so that it uh, tops off all the cells. And I think we have the cells here. They will even out once uh, the charging is done on the battery. And one other thing I do, we don't live in our RV. Uh, it sits in storage. And the last day that we're camping, I usually shut the converter off so that uh, I don't go back with a full charge. And also the solar, obviously, too. On my battery, I get that to focus for storage for longer lasting uh, you want to store it at 50 percent and then recharge it once every three months if it's not going to be used for a long time so i try you know i don't always hit 50 percent but even 70 percent or less i think is going to be good for that you don't want to it's kind of like your cell phone you don't want to leave it at 100 percent turn it off and leave it for three months so I just wanted to share that little tip what I do. So that's going to finish this video. So four hours, if I was to run my generator from 33% to 100%, would take four hours with my generator. Now, if I was boondocking, I'd have the solar on, so I would get some help from the solar. So it'd probably be considerably less runtime for my generator. And uh, it's going to finish it off. Thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully this is the last uh, update I got to do on that converter. Thanks for watching.